everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is V. I'm an actuary with multiple passions from education to entrepreneurship. And my channel mission is to help you study smarter, work better, and live happier. So one of my objectives is to help you make informed decisions about career planning, how to choose a suitable career for you, especially uh, for uh, fields related to math, data, and coding. So previously, I have a video talking about the different career trends for the future and potential different career paths. Uh, the four trends include artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, data and analyze this, and math and medicine. So you can see career in tech greatly benefit from this trend. Uh, so today, I want to take a closer look on the different career paths for a computer science or IT major. I believe coding and computing skills are and continue to be very useful for all types of professional path. Uh, I myself, I'm doing a master in computer and information technology at University of Pennsylvania. Uh, that is why I'm wearing uh, this t-shirt today. Uh, although like is a uh, reverse uh, in the, in camera lens, uh, but anyway, so I would like to gain like foundation knowledge in computer science, which may be very beneficial as uh, technology trains are descripting the insurance industry, uh, which I'm working in. So I really want to be ahead of the curve or just at least keep up with all the trains and so on. So I'm happy to have Liliana from uh, Lily's Note today to join me uh, to introduce the different uh, career paths uh, for those who study IT and computer science. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel talking about tech, career, and productivity tips. So make sure you check it out. Thank you so much, Bree, for having me here today. So my name is Liliana, but my friends would be lazy enough to just call me Lily. I am a data scientist, a software developer by training. In fact, I hold a master degree in information technology management and a bachelor degree in computer science. In my free time, I make videos about career, technology and productivity tips to democratize opportunity for everyone to learn and to help you live a happier and healthier life. We will talk about a summary of different potential career paths in tech. Uh, the first five on in with developers. The first one is software developer. It is a very general term to describe a profession in which you will develop software. So according to the US Occupational Allocation Book, software developers create the application or system that runs on computer or another device and they can include web, mobile, desktop, game application and system and more. So you can consider a software developer like a general consultant and then one can become a specialist in certain fields. Uh, the primary developers between software developers and other developers like web developer, mobile application developer has to do with the program they work with and uh, what they are trying to do. A web developer typically specializes in either front-end, back-end or full-stack development. Full-stack development meaning that person could take care of both front-end and back-end of a web. I do believe if you have no idea with specialization in computer science that you should focus on web development to be a great starting point. In fact, it's also a required person to a more lucrative profession in computer science, such as data engineer. If you really interested in web development as well as the interaction between the client and the server that make up the web, I encourage you to spend about three minutes watching my video talking about web development. Very similar to web development, mobile development follow the client server model. Unlike web development, where we use the browser as the client sending requests to the server, mobile development use their mobile devices to send requests to the server. Most mobile developers either specialize in iOS development or Android development. Some even specialize in hybrid mobile applications, meaning those mobile applications could run on both iOS and Android environments. A game developer writing code in a variety of game formats, such as on your mobile devices, on your desktop, or even sometimes on CD. A game developer to writing code will turn the idea of a game designer into a playable game to incorporating the visualization and the sound as well as the in and the out of user interaction in the game. Developers develop software that run on 
được lâu Very similar to the work that a software developer or a web developer would do Except that their software have to be functional in a virtual system or environment Then we have all the roles that deal with system and networks. So computer network architects design and build data communication networks, including local area networks, uh, wide area networks, and intranets. So these networks range from small connection between two offices to next generation networking capabilities, such as cloud infrastructure. And you can also specialize to become a cloud architect. And then next, we will have like network and computer system administrators who are responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of computer networks. Uh, database administrators uh, use specialized software to store and organize data. And then we have computer system analysts study an organization of current computer system and find a solution that is more efficient and effective. Then uh, information security analysts plan and carry out security measures to protect an organization, computer networks and system. So uh, these ones are getting even more popular due to like the cyber security concern and everything. So a more as more companies invest in IT infrastructure and IT projects, uh, we cannot forget the role of uh, project managers and QA analysts. A project manager typically called a PMP designation, which stands for Project Management Professional. I know a few project managers who don't know much about programming, but still doing really well as a project manager. However, in my opinion, true leadership equal to effective management and empathy. Therefore, having some background in software development or computer science will be truly beneficial to one's success as a project manager. A quality assurance analyst will ensure a software is functional through either automatic or manual testing. Although the quality assurance analyst role is almost a must in big Tech companies, some startups companies try to solve money to hiring software developers who could also perform automatic testing. And we cannot forget another career path that Harvard Business Review consider as the sexiest job in the 21st century, data science. Indeed, as we head into the fourth industrial revolution, more and more data will be produced not only from your computers, your mobile devices, but also from millions of other Internet of Things devices. And that is why the demand for data science related uh, professionals will continue uh, to rise. I have a series talking about data science versus actuary careers. And Liliana also uh, has a video explaining briefly what data science is all about in three minutes. Uh, so if you want to learn more about data science, you can find them in the comment section. And last but not least, we cannot forget the role of professors who help nurture the next generation talents. If you are into learning and teaching uh, or researching, you can become a computer science professor. So they typically hold at least a master degree in computer science or a related discipline. And most of them have a PhD degree. Well, uh, a plus you are going to school to teach uh, at big university. In addition to their teaching responsibilities, uh, most computer science professors are active contributors to the ongoing research in academia. So now that we know more about potential career path, how can one get started? Uh, Liliana, do you have any advice for those who are interested in career in tech? In general, before you think about starting a profession, I think it's always a good idea to interview profession who be there than that to get a better idea about that profession in practice. That's why my channel and we channel try to interview as many inspiring professionals as possible so you could have a better idea about your dream profession. Specifically in technology, I think practice makes perfect. Think about an idea that you want to conceptualize. Then find ways to make that idea become a reality. For me specifically, in my first year in undergrad, I co-founded a Vietnamese student blog in the university that I attended. And I really want to build a website for the student blog from scratch and a free marketing material. Even the cheap budget that we have at the time, we couldn't hire a software developer to build our website. That's why I tried to buy a lot of books so I can learn how to build a website and build a website for the student blog. 
That's how I learned about HTML, CSS, JavaScript to build a website. Nowadays, you absolutely don't need to purchase a lot of textbooks to learn coding anymore because there are a bunch of classes out there designed by experienced teachers who will help you step by step as for how to build a website. Click the link to Skillset subscription where you will be able to register for a 14 days free trial from Skillset. I do believe with 14 days and about two hours commitment every day, you will be confident to build your own website and take your coding skill to the next level. Besides building technical skill and knowledge, you will also benefit greatly if you develop soft skills such as analytical skill and critical thinking to analyze situation and make recommendations as uh, technologies and uh, behaviors are constantly changing. Interpersonal uh, competencies including communication and interpersonal skills are always great to have if you are uh, engaged to, uh, in large projects and working with multiple stakeholders and especially if you want to advance your career to become a tech lead or manager or eventually uh, even a CTO. So I hope everyone finds today video helpful for those that are interested in a tech career. Thanks Liliana for doing the research and introducing this career path um, with me today. And everyone should check out Liliana's channel for full videos on this career path as well as other educational videos explaining technology concepts like uh, machine learning or blockchain. And if you uh, like this video, don't forget to give it a like and I will see you in another video. Uh, bye now!